In this video, just want to share a simple code interpreter use case that can help with scaling Facebook ads profitably, whether your model requires you to be first order profitable or profitable over time. So the 80-20 of this use case is identifying your SKUs, variants, and offers that lend themselves the best of your SKU set to generating returning orders. Once you identify these specific products and offers, you can be a lot more intentional with how you make decisions about them in your media buying and new customer acquisition offers. So for example, um, one of the things you could potentially do is you could get more aggressive on what you're allowing your first purchase CPA to be on some of these products to a much higher degree than you have been so far. So for example, if you've been okay with a $50 CPA on your current front end products, maybe you could actually go up to a 70 because you've found out that they're a lot better at generating repeat purchase rate, repeat purchase orders than you first expected. So what I've done here is I've loaded into Code Interpreter a whole bunch of orders from an orders export from Shopify. And I threw in the prompt here, tell me the top 10 products that have the highest returning customer rates when part of the first purchase of a new customer. Let's define returning customer as coming back to buy any product. It doesn't have to be the same product as the first one they ordered. So Code interpreted its thing, uh, found the products, and now it's spat out a list, which is really helpful for me um, to do some further work with. But what's interesting here, and I've obviously swapped the names here of our actual products with dummy names. Um, but what was really interesting for me to see was that in the last 30 days, um, this product here, product 95, is actually the one that is driving the most new acquisitions for us. But what's interesting is that product 16, um, 16.022, this one's actually the one that has better repeat purchase rate um, impact on our customer list. So if I didn't know that, what I would probably do is focus all of my efforts on product number 95. But now knowing that 16.022 is actually more effective than 95 at generating repeat purchases, I can actually spend more time thinking about what I want to do with that product. So for example, one of the things that I can do is I can increase the CPA that we have on the current cost caps that we're running <clears throat> the ad spend with. Another thing I could do is potentially think about different offers to make around that product. So for example, I could do free plus shipping, I could do additional gift with purchase. I could do, you know, get it now for free and pay later in 30 days. Um, there's a lot of things that I could do knowing that this product has a proclivity towards bringing back further repeat purchases. On a related note, when I was working with a company that's on pace to doing 50 million in top line this year, um, something we discovered was that one of the products, and it was it's the, the top third selling product or fourth selling product um, of the SKU set, that one was actually the one that led to the most retention and repeat purchase rates, whereas we could never make it work on top of funnel new customer acquisition. Um, but knowing that it is a product that leads to high retention and repeat purchase rates, it gives us the enthusiasm and also the reasoning to spend more time to try to make it something that could work as a new customer acquisition tool. Because the more people that try that product, the more likely they are to want to come back and buy other things and buy that same product over and over again. Um, so it's just really interesting to use Code Interpreter to understand and have clarity around what role each SKU in your SKU of armies or your army of SKUs plays in your customer journeys. So quick recap, a uh, really short video. Code Interpreter is awesome for finding out what products lead to 
the best returning order rates. This is especially helpful if you've got a lot of SKUs as part of your business, whether you're in apparel or you're in food and beverage, um, or you've just got a lot of SKUs. It's really helpful to know and see these things clearly. And once you identify the SKUs that are doing the best when it comes to generating repeat and returning orders, you can make some decisions on how that impacts your acquisition strategy as it pertains to these products. So hopefully you can get more aggressive in either raising your CPA allowance potentially or getting creative in different offers that you want to do, whether it's gift with purchase, free plus shipping, charging them after they've got a chance to try it for 30 days, whatever it is, you can be more creative and confidently creative in these offers. See you guys in the next one.